my name is Alex, and in 2015, I moved from Jamaica to Atlanta, Georgia. Then in 2020, I started RVing across the country with my FG Cruiser and my cat. Last week, I shared me getting on a horse for the first time since 8th grade. This week, we're going rafting down the Bighorn River in Hot Springs County, Wyoming. The first half an hour on the river was actually pretty calm. I mean, just look at Kevin. What's he doing over there? Is he stirring a pot of soup? <laughs> and you know what? I wasn't doing anything either. We were all pretty chill. But that was the hard part about putting this video together because the reality was so much different from these calm moments. Have some more chili mango chips. But while it was calm, we minded the neighbor's business because if we don't mind it, who is going to do that job? You see him? Driftwood? No, it's it's locking. It's locking. It's, it's called locking something. See how they're locked? One, one, uh... Is that a basement? Yeah. Well, it probably is locked. They have an immaculate... When we could no longer see the neighbors, we could mind nature's business. It was an absolutely beautiful day on the river. It was hot. Please wear your sunscreen if you decide to do this, but so beautiful. These cows are so lucky. Can you imagine just showing up here for lunch every day? Okay. So can we go right towards that rock? About halfway down the river, Kevin decided he wanted to go jump off a rock. Well, let's see how that goes. And the glasses are still on. Was it too, too shallow? You gotta jump over this big rock. That's right here. Did you hit it? Did you hit the rock? No, but you touched it down. Kevin tried to talk me into jumping off the rock, but mm -mm, mm -mm, that water was so cold. Another frustrating part about putting this video together is that all the super epic and amazing and hilarious things that happened, we couldn't film because we needed both hands to get ourselves out of trouble or to save Kevin's chapstick that decided to go for a swim without his consent when he jumped into the river a second time. I guess you guys will just have to take my word for it that some pretty awesome things were happening off camera. I think I'd rather see it. Vivian was really disappointed that we missed being under the bridge at the time the train was going overhead. And I thought about it and I was like, you know what, we're really not that far away and those trains are long. If we row as hard as we can, I bet we can get underneath it just in time. There were also some things I didn't film because I didn't want to embarrass people. There was a guy who fell off his pedal board in the rapids, which was totally understandable. What was absolutely ridiculous and hilarious was that he was too manly to just pull the paddle board over to where the rocks or the bank was and get back on like a regular person. So instead he struggled to the point of dangerous levels of exhaustion until he finally gave up and got back on the paddle board. What a cowboy. 
Of all the things we did in Thermopolis, this is my favorite, which is what makes it so frustrating that I couldn't share all the amazing things that happened. But I do hope you take my word for it and that you enjoy the amazing scenery. Next week, we enjoy a different kind of scenery when I go back to Casper for two weeks and hike Casper Mountain with Mark and Aaron. This is the last time that I was stationary for more than a week anywhere in Wyoming. So what happened? Where did I go? And what did I do? Well, I guess you'll have to stay tuned to find out. See you next Friday. Bye.